What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we have the arrival and conclusion vlog of the Dallas Fort Worth and Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport day trip from February 28th, 2021. I hope you guys are excited for today's video and with all that being said, let's begin. There will be two main sections of today's video, the arrival in the Tulsa International Airport and the conclusion of the whole Dallas Fort Worth and Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport day trip and all the content we made for it. We will begin with the arrival in the Tulsa International Airport and proceed to the conclusion and recap for this day trip. Let's begin with deep landing at Tulsa International Airport after arrival on this American Airlines Airbus A319 from the last leg of the trip inbound from Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Alrighty guys, so here we go with the live commentary exiting Tulsa International Airport here in the Alpha Concourse, which I honestly think is really nice. This concourse was renovated back in 2015. They added new seats. That sky panel up there was also modified. And as you can tell, it's really paid off. Look how nice it is. About 10 o'clock, I think it was about 10.10, so we deplaned within 10 minutes, which is very impressive. There's the Delta Connection, Balbirne, Sierra Day Dash 900, probably on an Atlanta turn at that time. And very nice seats throughout here that look really good. We have some trash cans and everything that one would want passing by the Delta gates here. And over here on the right, I believe is Alpha 3 right next to us. And then the gate down, as you guys can see, and as we'll point to here in a second, is Alpha 1. Alpha 1's not been used in a very long time. I have no idea who, who used it in the past, pardon me, but it is still a cool gate. Nice to see seats there regardless. Passing through, as we can see, we have some very nice wall designs right here. I'm a big fan. They look really, really nice. The military lounge is as well pardon me what a nice amenity there's the flight information board that looks really nice some rain was moving past from what we saw previously earlier in the day and as we'll conclude uh, later in this video uh and then of course tulsa is set up where the security checkpoints are in the middle for the two concourses so, so of course that's barricaded off during this time of day no flights are going to be leaving this late nope not even the legion delayed flights but <laughs> anyways as we will go through we'll exit here and then we have some more things coming up as we make our way to the baggage carousel so let's take a look at those as will transition into that clip right now. Alrighty, so we'll have a series of clips that are really short here, so bear with me. Here's some amazing artwork. Tulsa does a really good job putting amazing artwork on display. They post about it on their social medias and everything, which I think is really cool. There's where you would go to check in for any of your flights. And one of my favorite parts of Tulsa International Airport, to be quite honest, is this baggage carousel system, pardon me, where you can literally see your bags coming through. Really, really cool. Here is the baggage carousel. Of course, I was not going to need this amenity because I was going on a day trip, but most people from this flight obviously went over there for obvious reasons, looking good. And as you can see, it was very quick to get out of Tulsa International Airport. It's always nice and fluid, especially during this time of the day, and I always really enjoy it. Normally, I would do some plane spotting within the terminal, but of course, that checkpoint was closed, and along with that, it was so late. So, uh, upcoming, we have a clip of me concluding the whole trip, so unbelievable. It was absolutely awesome. Let's conclude this. Well guys, wow, just went like 18 hours. Felt like about three days, but hey, what can I say? I really hope you guys enjoyed the Phoenix day trip. Um, we had a lot of hiccups, but man, we did our absolute best. I think I parked over there. Pretty convenient. Um, man, we're back from the pandemic, man, I, I, flying wise. We ain't fully recovered yet, but we're just getting started. Wow, um, I truly can't thank you guys enough for watching this uh, full series. I know it probably took a few months to produce, but um, it was a ton of fun to do it. And I had a blast uh, making this content for you guys. Um, just as a kind word, if you guys did enjoy it, please consider liking, subscribing. And then uh, if you guys would be kind enough to do so, please consider sharing with your friends as uh, this doesn't happen overnight. I bet I spent days upon end making this content for you guys so, yeah Alrighty, everybody that will do it for the first section of this video now we will transition into the conclusion and recap of this video we will go piece by piece of all the legs of the dallas and phoenix day trip to see how the whole day unfolded of february 28th 2021 here we go we began right where we just ended at Tulsa International Airport, checking in at roughly 5 a.m. We then proceeded into the airport to make it to gate Alpha 7 to board the American Airlines Airbus A319 with Sharklets with nonstop service to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. The flight was absolutely outstanding and I really enjoyed it to say the least. We arrived into DFW at roughly 7.30 a.m. and we had the DFW layover that was so much fun. I went around the Skylink about five times. We then made our way to C7 in the Charlie Concourse to board our American Airlines Airbus A321 with IAE engines and fence tips with service to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Even though the flight did get delayed, it was still a pleasant flight with some great views to say the least. 
We arrived in the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport for the first time and I was so excited. I've never been to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport as an aviation enthusiast and spotting at the Sky Harbor for the first time was something else. The lighting was amazing, the views were stunning, and Phoenix was the place to be in the winter to say the least in my opinion. The short layover flew by, no pun intended, and then the least. Even though we were delayed once again due to a ground stop in Dallas this time, it was still an unbelievable flight between the takeoff and the fantastic views of the mountain the horizon and everything in between. I really enjoyed the flight on the Airbus A321neo and we made our way to DFW right at sunset. Once we arrived into DFW at about 6 p.m. we had a two hour layover and between another round on the Skylink and getting some dinner it was a bunch of fun. Our last leg of the trip was on the American Airlines Airbus A319 with fence tips from Dallas Fort Worth International Airport to Tulsa International Airport. We made our way over the Alpha 24 and the Alpha Concourse to get boarded up. The flight was the perfect icing on the cake to say the least. There were some epic views and I had a bunch of of fun on the flight. We arrived in Tulsa International Airport via gate Alpha 7 in deep plane which brings us to where we are now. Alrighty everybody, I really hope you guys enjoyed the first two sections of this video. There's going to be a mini third one right here, so there's going to be some free talking because I kind of want to give you guys an update on what's going on, the conclusion of this trip fully because it's going to be one more big video and into the next trip we go. So first off, I just can't thank American Airlines enough, Tulsa International Airport, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, and all the amazing employees and everybody in between for making this such an amazing flight. It was, at, or all of the amazing flights, pardon me. It was absolutely Absolutely outstanding and like I said through the full recap Dallas was absolutely amazing Phoenix was absolutely amazing yes we may not have been perfect on weather throughout the whole trip but it was a bunch of fun very excited to share the pictures on Instagram here in a couple of years I know that does sound ridiculous but we have to go in chronological order in my opinion and there's a ton of amazing aircraft to post on Instagram in my opinion so those pictures will be coming soon on will uh, there is four trip ports there's I think 11 in-flight videos and there is uh, I believe four or five conclusion intro and layover vlogs so be sure to check those out because the content was so much fun to make as I alluded to previously. I had a bunch of fun doing it and yes it did take several hours. I'm going to take a guess it probably took maybe somewhere in the range of 24-ish something like that. It definitely took a lot but regardless I really hope you guys enjoyed it because it was a bunch of fun to say the least. So like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out that full playlist and there and I wanted to transition into my next topic is there's going to be one more large video for this trip. I'm going to take every single video in the playlist and I'm going to put it in the one massive video so if you've already seen all the videos that's perfectly fine this video is just simply to kind of have a full retrospective and call it a full trip if you will so it will have all the trip ports all the in-flight videos and every single video in the trip in order so for instance it'll be the trip port takeoff in-flight video landing pushback all that fun stuff all that will be in order in one gigantic video now the music from those videos will be the same all of it's going to be the same it's just going to be meshed together the only the intro the outros will be chopped off and that'll be it so i really hope you guys are excited for that it's going to be one massive video so if you want to go on a thriller and having a chance to watch all the videos in their full entirety i highly recommend checking out the video and chipping away at it as i'm sure you guys will enjoy it i really hope you guys enjoyed it it was so much fun and i just am speechless to say the least it was such a good trip uh like i said expect pictures to come expect a lot of content to come it's absolutely amazing and i can't thank you guys enough like i said so very very happy with how that turned out it was absolutely amazing to say the least now at long last we'll finally transition into the plans for the rest of december and into the next trip i know this is kind of off topic but i kind of want to give you guys the insight because this is the conclusion after all so let's go over it so you guys this is probably coming out the second tuesday of december if i had to guess it may not i'm not sure um somewhere in there maybe the first tuesday something like that but regardless the next video on the next tuesday that'll be the full video that i was just referring to and then the next two tuesdays pardon me Expect a spotting vlog and maybe one other sort of video real life. It may be the, uh, I went to Stillwater recently to catch the American 145. So potentially that will be the video, but be sure to stay on the lookout because there's going to be some awesome videos to come. And then that will transition us into uh, the next round of content, which will be the Florida trip between two American 737s and the two CRJ-900s on our Daytona Beach trip through Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I really hope you guys are excited for it. It was absolutely epic. There were some uh, monumental views, to say the least, from all perspectives. I think we had one fully sunny flight, a two partly cloudy flights, and one overcast flight to a degree, kind of. So 
there's a lot of variation there were some great views uh it was absolutely outstanding some fun moments some really cool landings all kinds of fun stuff so i really hope you guys are excited for that that content will begin in january we'll start off the new year with the new trip so the goal and things always get messed up somehow so i'm not gonna you know say it's set in stone but the uh tentative goal right now is to have all of that complete by uh, April to have our four month segment. And we may have May as a transitioning month, I'm not sure. But outside of that, the future trip plans are unknown to this point. I'm not sure what we're gonna be looking like, but I'm sure there'll be a trip in there somewhere where we'll add to the list, whether it's a day trip of sorts next spring or something like that. There will be something. So stay on the lookout for all that content. I really hope you guys are excited for it. And with that, I wanted to also mention, if you guys have any requests, recommendations, and anything along the lines of that, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, I do plan on most of the next trip being edited in a new editing software so there will be some new uh, innovation in that regard so I really hope you guys are excited for that and I'm really excited to introduce the new editing as well I think it's gonna be awesome and there may be some more gems and things throughout that lines especially if I get some good recommendations so yeah if you guys want to see anything particular in trip ports like maybe some more subtitle stuff or you know anything along those lines and this goes for anything if you'd like to see alterations to how we format the layover vlogs takeoff and landings cruise videos all that sort of thing please let me know and we can most certainly do that because uh, I want to make this content the best that I can for you guys and I know everybody kind of enjoys different styles so I want to you know mesh everything together to the best of our ability so with all that that being said that will do it for the conclusion of the dallas and phoenix day trip unbelievable it was so much fun and it's going to be a trip i reflect on for so many years to come what a fun day trip and what an amazing way to get back from the pandemic i mean it was unbelievable i sincerely apologize that the trip was broken up in like to two three month segments if that makes any sense that's kind of an exaggeration i would say more like one one month session and two three months set or one three months well yeah two and two two month sessions that's what i should call it but regardless i really hope you guys enjoyed it it was so much fun to produce and i'm really really excited for what's to come in the future the next trip is going to be absolutely awesome you guys are not going to want to miss out on it and i really hope you guys are excited for it so with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching my name is red river aviation take it easy everybody stay safe just process do what you love and love what you do my name is red river aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time as red river aviation is signing off